Hey, how's it going, folks? Yeah, back out here again, searching. This is my 1929 map site, and I discovered uh, World War One button era ish World War two button and that nicely engraved social security card that led me to find that this family came from Missouri entered the land lottery Oklahoma land lottery got their 160 acres plotted their home site right here and that uh, social security card was the child born in 1923 yeah and I found his marbles I don't know if there was any more children but let's go in here today and let's find out what we can find uh, it's the stories you know it's the stories that uh, that were haunting the relics yeah those are nice too but the stories how the people lived you know how they survived how they made their income what their family life was like how many children they had uh, what kind of cars they drove all that information and we find it by pulling up their relics so I'm gonna go in here today Chuck's supposed to be coming out uh, help me detect this area because it's so vast check it out and it's just huge amount of territory just huge the home site sat right there that's where the house sat and there used to be a road that came through here a little farm road that they had and it just kind of came right around all these trees right here and I can see why it's very very wet in here and uh, we had some rain so yeah it's gonna be a little soupy but the the water in the in the ground helps us out right it's good moisture I want to get in this area because I think the barn was over here why else would you have a big loop going around this this spot so and I think it led to the barn I think the barns over here we'll find out but I did find remnants of a barn back 100 yards back off the house now I, the last time I was out here we were finding buckles buttons uh, I found a coin it was just a 54 weedy but it was still a coin so uh, car parts stuff like that there's stuff here lots of stuff interesting relics let's get in and find them see you on the first good find see ya well I saw something pop out that either looked like a coin or a button where'd it go there it is there it is it's got a hole in it. Is that another token? I believe that's another token. Yeah, see that? Maybe another Missouri sales receipt token. Let's clean it up. Let's find out what it is. See you in a minute. You know, it is a token. And it says something about a tax on it. See it? Right up there it says tax. So it's another tax coin token but I don't see any other recognizable writing on it and we're gonna have to clean that one up and uh, identify it I'll include it with the video but yes nice whenever you find tokens and coins right beautiful moving on just pulled up a nice little period relic these are always nice to have yeah they're little hooks you know they could use these on their plow hookup or you know whatever those are nice because I like them you can uh, hang things from them and clean them up real nice and you know it's a piece of history in your home with something uh, hanging from it it's really nice I like those sweet it, it, it probably would have been for a chain to hook right on there and that little end loop right there would have caught the chain from slipping off so that's beautiful nice little relic from the uh, teens or 20s I imagine it could even be early uh, early 1900s given the amount of decay on it okay moving on see ya. Chuck just pulled up what looks like maybe some kind of brake master cylinder for an old Model T possibly we'll research it and find out it's easy to find out you just uh, 
Google Image Model T Brake Master Cylinder, and uh, that might be it. We'll see. All right, moving on. Yeah, I just destroyed a nice little mason cap. Well, I don't think I did it. I think time did it. It's a ball. Oh, yeah, that's an early one, too, see? Nice. And there's not much left of that ceramic at all. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Genuine zinc cap. Just make sure you get all that metal out, right? You don't want to be hitting that target again and again and again. Okay. Moving on. See ya. Just got into something. Oh, it looks like a case. Maybe a little compact case or something. Looks like the top. Yeah, it is a case. Top. Nice. It's got some kind of little pattern on it, too. I don't know what came in those... Uh, Makeup or something, probably. Interesting little piece. Let's see if we can find the bottom. See ya. Finally, into some good stuff. Move closer to the house in my search pattern, and that is a little buckle. That tongue is gone. <laughs> and it's a little brass buckle for sure. Might be harness small nice I like little brass buckles sweet moving on see ya. I think we got our first button little tiny tiny thing yeah it's a button this might be a child's button yeah that's what I would say it's got like a little star or something on it Nice little button. About four inches deep. Moving on. Weird. Just pulled up a Model T ignition part right here. That would have been one of the points on the coil. Yep, right on the house site. So, Chuck says he's got something going on over here. It's got different colored uh, soil. Yeah? From everywhere else that I've dug. Oh yeah, <coughs> sandy, kind of loamy. You got something down there, don't you? Right there. Oh. Let's see. I think it's in that sidewall. Take out, a, take out a big chunk out of this sidewall right there and it'll come out. Probably a big chunk of iron. I found a hinge. Got a hinge to the house. Oh yeah. What are we getting there? see anything it's still down there it's big big chunk <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna open up the top of that root cellar today see what we can find we got glass we got nice little blue glass in here and I saw more glass there's like kind of like a black glass in here as well too okay moving on I think I got another button and some blue, blue glass. There it is, right there. There's the button. See it? It is a button. Uh, probably overall button for the farmer. You want to see if there's something on it? Let's find out. We'll clean it up. Be back in a sec. Look at that beauty right there. It looks like it has some kind of animal on it. I can't tell. A goat, maybe? It says Buck Brand. That's a nice coverall button. Beautiful. Add that to the collection. And I'm right on the old house site. Right here. And, you know, there's a lot of glass and pottery and stuff. So, this stuff would have fell through the floorboards. You never know. See ya.
Yeah, we think we found one of the outhouses. Here's a here's a bottle dated 1913. Some glass. Got some iron. See the soil? It's uh it's kind of really sifty sandy kind of loamy. But uh, a lot of targets coming up in here. So we think we might have the outhouse area at least close to it yep see if there's any bottles see ya yeah I would say we're into an outhouse you see how fine that dirt is right there and missing void of rocks is the first indicator the second indicator is all the glass nice little goblet right there that kind of peachy color nice yeah, looks like a pair of shears or scissors or something right there some old tool yep think we got an outhouse and we have to just see how deep it goes nice hopefully there's some nice old bottles down there yeah that's what i'm kind of afraid of digging is like you know the shell thought this was a button at first but now now I'm not so sure. It's got some kind of little metal thingy. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let's clean it. Let's see what it is. Yeah, not a button. Don't know what it is. Something to something. Yup, moving on. See ya. Yeah, whatever's in here is giving me a strange signal. Might be iron. Oh, is that a bottle? That's a little pill bottle. I found a complete pill bottle. Probably Bay or something. That's a nice little one. No embossing. Nothing slick sided. It would have had a little cork though. That's nice. It's got something written on the bottom. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Owens. Owens Glass, I think. Can't read it. 12. 1912, maybe. Somewhere around there. So we got some teens. We got some bottles from the teens. That's nice. Bob still finds stuff over here. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right there. What is that? It says something on it. Edelbrock? It has some writing on it. Yeah. See that? I don't know. I like it. It's neat. Might be a lipstick top. We'll save it. We'll clean it up and we'll check it out. I'll post it if it's anything neat. There's a lot of glass in here. Wow, there's a lot of glass. Oh, look at this too. My goodness. A buckle. <laughs> An iron buckle. Wow. Pottery. G glass. More pottery, more glass. Let's see what else we get in here. Is that a button? No. <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, there was more stuff in this hole. Wow, a button. That's nice. I don't think that's even iron or anything. It's a like a Bakelite button. Beautiful. This is why you sift through your dirt right here. Don't just use a pinpointer and go after the, the metal objects. Sift through it. You might find marbles, buttons. I know everybody says, oh, you need to get a pinpointer. You need a pinpointer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, take your time. Be patient. Sift through the dirt, and you're going to find things that you don't want to miss. Because I just found a lot of nice little things in that one little hole. Nice. That's a lot of glass in this one area. And see the depression? This might be close to 
another outhouse hole. And check it out. This might be where they tossed all their glass, too. Nice. Okay, moving on. Just pulled up some chain with an old link on it. Nice old chain. Yep. Moving on. Uh, here's a nice 75 signal. I'll have you dig one with me. Let's see what it is. Let's see what we get. Maybe something. Maybe something nice, I hope. Didn't sound too deep, but... Seems like all the activity is in the back of the house. I'm on the north side of the house right now. Well, it's in there somewhere. Let me get my detector and see if we can find it. Yeah, detector says right in here somewhere. It's ringing. It's not seeing anything. There it is. It's just an old top. It has writing on it. Jersey City. Yeah, well, we can clean that up and date it, at least. I keep tops with writing, just to uh, date the site. All right, moving on. See ya. Yeah, got a loud 79 to 81 signal. Now, 80's usually iron, but the 79 makes it interesting. Is that, like, copper? Yep, there it is down there. What is it? Looks like another hood ornament piece. Yep, that's what that looks like. Nice little missing uh, some pieces. <laughs> but that's what that probably is, another hood ornament piece. The old car, probably a Model T, I imagine. We'll We'll match it. That looks like Model T. All right, moving on. See, so looks like another button, maybe. Well, let's see. No, oh, it's a rivet. It's a leather rivet. Yep, just a little leather rivet. Moving on. Yeah, just pulled up another large tool. That's a rasp find these they're quite common this one you can actually see both sides they're quite common at these old house sites again they would have used these for you know fixing up their home and but mostly for uh, hooves horse hooves yeah shape them yep moving on I found metal this way yeah it's like there's something big here we got us a bottle down there nope. oh broken. Well, I just nothing on the bottom day. of it. <laughs> Try to take it out. Yeah, see there's a lot of iron in here. A lot of glass. This definitely is either a, a dump. It doesn't look like it's deep though. It looks like it ends right here. But there's there's stuff down in that layer. So you know, that could be dust bowl. That could be dust that blew in here. This land could have been, uh, you know, a foot 
to two to three feet shallower than it is now. That dust bowl period was a mess. It dumped heavy, heavy dust on everything. So this stuff right here is like it's so solid. Yeah. All right, moving on. Yeah, I think we got another token here. Yep, it is. It is a token. Boy, they must have had a bunch of these things. Let me clean it up and I'll show you. See? Yep, that is. That's another token. It looks like the same kind. We'll clean them up, check them out. It might be the Missouri One, whatever you call them, tax receipt. Yep, that's what it looks like. It's like the same thing. All right, moving on. See ya. Chuck just found another brass buckle. Oh yeah, nice. Let me check them, see if there's any writing on them. And I just found this little doohickey, a nice little fancy. I don't know, something to something. Furniture probably, I would say. Yep, moving on. See ya. Just found the tiniest little buckle I have ever found right here. There it is. Look at that. Look at how tiny that thing is. Shoe, maybe? Ah, oh, that's pretty dainty. I would say probably a shoe. <laughs> that is tiny. Oh, this place is loaded with buckles, that's for sure. Buckles and buttons. See ya. That is the first mason top I have ever found where somebody had drilled holes in the top of it. Maybe for uh, a bug collection or something? I'll bet you anything. A little old sunny old boy here that lived at this house had a little pet. And he popped some holes in this can top, jar top. Yep. Nice interesting story there. Moving on. Just dug up another token. Oh yeah. Wow, there's a lot of tokens over it this way. This is like the uh, north side of the house, the, but it would be the back side. Yep, another token. That's what it is. That's nice. Beautiful. We'll clean that up later, and I'll give you a shot of it. My detector's going crazy. Listen to it. It's because of this right here. This... Stupid idea to make that headphone adapter going bad. After a while, banging around and moving, these little tiny ends, you know, they wear out. They wear out. Great. Awesome. <laughs> moving on, see ya. Looky here. Look what Chuck just pulled up. That is a draft horse shoe. Working horse from the 20s, maybe teens. Now this big guy would have been out here hoofing away, plowing, dragging a plow behind it. Beautiful shoe, that's a nice one right there. That's perfect too. It's not bent, it's not even worn down. It doesn't even look like it was used much. That is a beautiful shoe right there, nice. Nice find. I like relics like that. Yeah, we'll save that. Beautiful. All right, moving on. Got something here. Let's see. What is that? Interesting. I don't know what came in these things. It's got a red top on it. It's a little vial. I don't hear anything jangling around in it. They didn't put diamonds in it. I wonder what that was. Maybe a child's lipstick or something? We'll clean it up at home and I'll open it. And uh, if it's anything, I'll let you know. That's interesting. Never found a small one like that. Moving on. Yeah, I'll have you dig this with me. It, uh, it's about a 75, about four and a half inches deep, but it sounds a lot like a coin. Let's see what it is. It's gonna be right in there.
be a coin, be a coin. I'll find a nice coin from the time period. Now there's some chunky iron in there. Those mason tops, they'll fool you too. If that's what it is. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing silver pop out at me. We're gonna have to sweep that with a detector. Yep. We'll have to find it. It's in there somewhere. Where did you go? It's probably in a little clod. Alright, let me detect that. See what it is. Be right back at you. It's such a beautiful day out. Finally. Well, it was in the side wall. I was close to it. It's in here. Let's see if we can break this. Break it open. Come on. Coin would be super, super nice. Well, nope, not seeing any silver yet. 75 signal, that's good silver tone. It's, it's hiding hiding on me. It's small. Whatever it is. It's definitely coin size. That's for sure. Didn't sound like another token. Right in there. Is it in there? Nope. Is it in here? Nope. Let's just take a handful. Nope. Uh, how about this one? No. Is it down there? Do you see it? Huh. Oh, it's in here. Oh, it's a tag. Oh, it's a little piece of something. Piece of aluminum, it looks like. Yep. Bummer. No coin. Uh, moving on. See ya. Yeah, well, that's going to do it for me today. I'm a little tired. A lot of digging. And you'll see all the stuff I found today. It's a lot. And there's plenty more out here, so check it out. This is the not so good pile. Just odds and ends. Somebody's harmonica. Odds and ends to everything. They had electricity at one time. There's a little insulator. Yep. Pieces and pieces to pieces to pieces of everything. Little leather rivets and you name it. And then we have all this stuff over here, which is semi-decent stuff a little case top some buckles there's another buckle iron buckles brass buckles there's a piece that actually went on the house a nice little hinge and we'll save this bottle that's a nice little bottle a spoon missing the whole tip of it and we got some buttons and three tokens which is wonderful nowhere <laughs> and this had writing on it so I'm keeping that and I thought that was a shotgun shell but it's not so bits and pieces to everything yes lots of stuff and keeping me busy so thanks for watching we'll see you on the next hunt